To compute efficiency, we'll need to capture the total payroll hours for the year. The only two pieces of information needed from you, which is the average pay per hour and total payroll hours for the year. To compute your average payroll hours, you would need your the number of employees you have in the year, compute the hourly pay, and then the number total number of hours of work in a year, and the total annual pay. So, for example, let's say in this example, there are two employees, Shannon and you. Shannon makes fifteen dollars an hour. She works 2,000 hours in a year, which is an average of 40 hours a week and 50 weeks, 50 working weeks in a year. She gets paid $30,000 a year. You work and get paid $30 an hour. You work an average of 2,500 hours a year. So you get paid $75,000. So the total payroll is $105,000. And then the total payroll hours is 4,500. To get the average pay, you divide the 105,000 divided by the 4,500 to get 2,333. This is the amount that goes in here. For convenience, we use the same amount for, 20, for 2016, even though that would not be the case. And then for total payroll hours, you just, it's the 4,500. Now, if you don't feel very confident about your calculations, you can uncheck this box. And then the estimated hours computed by the program will be entered as, will be used as the number. If you feel very confident about your number, you check this box and the actual numbers you, you calculated you entered will be used as a total payroll hours.